Hi, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm in my car, um, kind of messed up. A few things going on at the minute. Um, car broke. Um, our other, one of our other car bro cars broke. Then the van started playing up. And then one of the newer cars that we've just bought, that's also started playing up as well. So we've got one that's replacing one and we're in the process of selling that, but anyway just car problems and that's impacted um, on my thinking over the last couple of weeks so I forgot to book the van in for its MOT so currently we have no MOT on the van and we're waiting for it to uh, to go in next Wednesday but today we find ourselves on our way to South Shields never been here before but we're off to see Rod and Sue um, if you follow our Facebook group you'll see that they lost their van to um, an arson attack two weekends ago so we're across to see we're going across to see how they're doing, check up on them, um, give them a big hug really, yeah. Because it's sad what's happened to them. Now Rod and Sue were one of our first subscribers, and we've we've ended up becoming really good friends. Um, you might have met them yourselves. They do a lot of the festivals. They do a lot of the meetups. They are a lovely couple. I'm just conscious of that car. I've just set the check my mirror there because it was really close. Lovely couple, absolutely diamonds. But for this to happen to them, I was, it, I'm gutted for them. I'm really upset for them. And, you know, I just want to make sure they're all right. And Rod had some equipment that he hadn't installed on in his van and me and him had been discussing. And uh, I'd also expressed an interest in buying the same bit of kit that he's bought. So today we're going to go and buy that off them. Hopefully they can put that money to some good use. But we have been chatting for the last couple of weeks and Rod informed me yesterday that they're not going to get the money that they expected. They've got an agreed value on their on their camper and they're not actually going to get all of that money. And I think that's a bit sad. But it's highlighted a couple of things that he just took for granted or didn't realise would affect his payout. So this little video here is going to be us discussing what happened and uh, why they're not going to get the payout that they think or they were deserving. Riley's just been and got a McDonald's because huh? you can't drive past them golden arches, can you? <laughs> you just tell all Lisa. Both stuff in the faces. I bet you I got nailed. I bet you I got nailed. Anyway, we'll be there in a couple of minutes. Um, be nice to see them again anyway. Right, catch up with you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Look like roads all scorched. Uh, we've had the road done clean, but it's yeah. still farm down in the one. Drain pipe's gone as well, eh? I know. Change the front door, man. Put, put some heat out, didn't it? The front door. <laughs> that is bad, eh? It's waiting for me, mate. I've had the assessors out, like, he's put down for everything. New window. On the evening of the 10th of February 2024, Rod and Sue's van was targeted by arsonists. The second van to be burnt on that street in five days. Another thing to remember is Rod and Sue were asleep in less than 10 feet away from this van. That is parked directly outside their bedroom window. Luckily for Rod and Sue, their neighbours raised the alarm and they escaped without harm. It wasn't the same story for the van. The van is a total loss. And as you can see from the videos, it's not been a nice sight for them to, to witness. So we're in Rod's cave, his man cave, in the yard. <laughs> we're going to have a look at his little scooter. 
Hang on, let me zoom out, let me zoom out. Tidy. They're quite big, they're heavy, mind you. Yeah. I've got all, all the gear for it. Oh, I like the Royal Alloys as well, eh? Your friend's got one, they're nice. They're, uh, they're kind De of bomb proof, aren't Depends they? who you talk to, though, like, that's an Italian scooter with yeah. a lot of people are put off with them. It's... Right, we're in Rod's garden, in his yard. We've had a look at his bike. I've always wanted a Vespa, so I'm, I'm easily swayed <laughs> to come and look at somebody else's bike. But while we were chatting over this last couple of weeks, Rod touched on something that I think we maybe need to discuss and we all should be aware of, and it's, it's your insurance. So basically, I'll tell you what happened. Um, maybe Rod will want to tell you a little bit more about it. Basically, his van's been attacked outside his house and... Destroyed, was it? Was fire it was, it was, it was oh, destroyed, it's, eh? it's gone. And the pictures that I saw, it, it, it got to me. Yeah. I know that. I, I was like absolutely good. We all you. own them and we're all attached to our vans, uh, aren't we? It's, it's, it isn't just a van to us, is it? It's like losing your house. If it, I, I've never happened over a house before, yeah. but it's probably the same feeling. It's like your, your little holiday home, isn't it? It's, it's pride and joy, isn't it? You, you've, yeah. you've put so much time and effort into building that. It's scary. And it's all the little bits that you can't put a value on, isn't it? And this is what we're going to talk about, isn't all it? All the bits we've collected. <laughs> yeah, well, that's and different it. things. And the, the reason we're having this conversation now is I have an agreed value on my vehicle, but every year I reassess that agreed value and I send information to my insurance company to say why I want to increase it. So I took out a policy with Just Campers and basically the first year it was a van in construction. So a camper in construction, and we covered that on the insurance. And as we built the van, we took photos and, well, videos and <laughs> documented yeah. everything that we've done. And this is where you need to be a bit savvy. As you're doing this, as you're adding more value to your vehicle, you need to make sure it's insured. You need to keep that information, receipts, documentation. So what I do now is I have a crib sheet at home, and basically that crib sheet is every part that I've added to the van and a slight, you know, the value of that part. So it's our hard. <laughs> uh, and that's it. You don't think, though. Eh? And I, I kind of done that to keep tabs on how much money I was spending. But also, I send my company, they ask for about nine pictures, front, side, back, in interior, engine base, speedo, um, the garage area. But I also send them more. I send them wheels, bull bar because a lot of people think you're not insured if you've got a bull bar. I pulled mine off. Yeah. I just fitted one about two, three days before it went on fire. Yeah. And the first thing I have on the morning, I went out and took it off because I had it in my head that they might knock me insurance yeah. back. And that's it. But if, if you've sent them the pictures and they've agreed oh, a value well, yeah. with that on, for me, and I would, I would argue the point, if they haven't highlighted it mm -hmm. and they're aware of it, they've insured it. So, mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So for me, I keep, I keep a tab on <coughs> Everything I've done, um, we've all invested a lot of money in these vans, and, and and for you, because the conversation you had wasn't wasn't along them lines, was it? Mm -hmm. Is when you insured your vehicle, you had a conversation about what it owed you, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And at that, you thought you had an agreed value. But well, basically, when I built the van th just over three years ago, I had a normal standard policy on it for the first few weeks because I. Didn't, I bought it for a work van. I didn't know it was going to be my camper. Then we decided, we talked one night and we decided to do it. So then I looked into how much money you could sort of see things racking up straight away. So I cancelled that policy and went for a specialist policy mm. with one of the big companies. You, that um, was with Airplan, wasn't it? Airplan, yeah. yeah. And uh, the, I went, uh, I'm getting it, it, was I'm getting assess, it was the assessor, wasn't it? It was the assessor that a, basically a said. It, it, well, when I took the policy out, he says, what does the van stand here? And I told him 15 grand at the time. Then I just left it at that. I never thought nothing else of it. Then I've been with the same company for three years. But then when I've just agreed with it the other day, when they've looked at it, then they're not giving us any extra. I've tried and tried. Right. I'm basically just, uh, I'm getting just over 10 grand for it. So and it stands me at least 20. Yeah. At least. 
it wasn't a top end van like someone mm. like Sir Sam's and that, but it was still a lot of time and money went into it. You couldn't, it, you couldn't buy that. Nah, you couldn't buy that for what they've paid you. Nah. and that's the bit that stinks, I think. And that's a bit. If you paid somebody, it probably would twenty thousand oh, pounds. Well, I, I would. If you imagine the man I was that went as two with me and Susan, uh, I would say thirty grand. Mm -hmm. I, I scary. I couldn't see anybody building a van, even if they have plucked the same van off the internet mm -hmm. now with the miles that you had on it, with the with the history that it had. Mm -hmm. And turn it into the build that you had mm -hmm. for any less than 30 grand. So for me, I think people need to be aware and conscious that you should be insuring it for what it would cost to replace it. And that's, mm -hmm. that's what your agreed value is for. Yeah. But make the point, when you say, when you're going for an agreed value, that's a service you will pay for in addition to your uh -huh. insurance policy. So it costs me 75 quid every year and... I make sure that I pay that every year mm -hmm. for that one reason. If I lose that, if somebody else thinks it, it's it's nicer in their possession, possession rather mm -hmm. than mine, then I'm not out of pocket because we all know the hours that I've put into that vehicle um, mm -hmm. and the hours you put into yours, that there you can't claim for them. He made yeah. it clear yesterday, yeah. he says, in future, make sure you get an agreed valuation. And basically what you said, keeping tabs of what yeah. you're doing, and every year updated whenever you do anything. Yeah. And up, he says, it doesn't really cost any extra to up it. Yeah. Really heavy if you're putting something more like expensive into it. No. So it, you've got to keep on top of you, just will not get it. The process takes a few weeks. Um, you submit your information, and as you submit that information, they will look at it and assess it. And if you've put a higher value on there, and it will take a little bit longer, I know myself, I think I insured mine for 45,000 last year. And I think that's what it would cost to replace it. Mm -hmm. But, again, I do the homework. I send a sheet with all the parts that are fitted, even the wheels and tyres that are fitted, because if they ever try and dispute that, they were supplied that information right at the very outset. So they've insured it, known all that information, known its history, and, and, and visually seeing what it is as well, because all them photos you send will yeah. basically back up the information mm -hmm. that you've sent. And if you've got, like we all have, most of us have a decent off-grid system, like battery mm -hmm. system, that's all, that's all expensive stuff. Mm -hmm. There's not, you don't get anything cheap these days, and no. the Vitron stuff is expensive, and it's expensive to replace. So I always send a photo of anything Vitron I've got, because if something goes wrong, I want them to replace it. Mm -hmm. Or if we have an accident and it's damaged, I want it repaired or replaced. Yeah. So for me, basically... Learn so, by my mistakes. Yeah, it's <laughs> a painful really. one though, isn't it? Yeah, it's... it's and it, <sighs> I know it's a bad time for Rod and Sue, and, you know, they're going to come out with it at the other end at a loss, but if we can stop this happening to somebody else, yeah. it's, it's, you know... It's learn me, if I do one again, well, that, it, I will, I'll do it down yeah, the right yeah. tracks this time. And that's I mean, what it's, pricked my conscience last night. You said something, and it stuck in my head, and I was like, I contact you this morning and say, mm -hmm. do you want to do a little video? And the, the, the phrase was, you learn by your mistakes. And it was like, yeah, you, you've learned, mm -hmm. but hopefully you'll learn from where I've... Could this benefit somebody well, else? From I've learned, I've learned the yeah. hard way, but hopefully no one else learns yeah. the hard way. Yeah, but um, they're not being defeated. They have mm -hmm. a plan. You're buying another vehicle, aren't you? I have, uh, well, I've bought one. I've bought a VW Amrock. I've got a thing about VWs. I've drove VWs for 20 odd years now. I've only ever drove Fords and VWs, and <laughs> the last Ford was a Cortina, I think, or a Sierra years ago. I've had a... Uh, me and my wife have always had a soft spot for, like, pickups. Yeah. And I couldn't see myself driving around in a little, a little no. Passat. I've had four Passats, and I love them, but after you, I've drove... As, as you get older as well, mm. stepping into something mm. rather than throwing yourself into something's mm. a lot easier, isn't it? I'm not as fit as I was a few years ago. I've got a few health problems, and I don't think... I doing the van again I don't yeah. think I'd want to do it and for what I've getting out of it I don't think I've got to afford to do it yeah. so we're going to get the Amrock and unfortunately you'll be seen with her in a big tent <laughs> I'll still go out with my friends we'll still get there but this we'll be the ones in the tent in the background yeah. it doesn't matter though does it as long as you're still there because that, nice that was the thing to me Rod and Sue have been there from the very beginning. When we started this channel, they were one of the first subscribers. Rod was one of the first people that sent me a picture, showed me his van. Yeah. And ever since then, we've, we've stayed in touch. 
and we've become really good friends, haven't we? I do. And I've got a problem, I'll ring you now and again. Yeah, and this is it. We, and... we just have a chat and we keep yeah. in touch, but we know that we're going to see each other at, at the festivals, yeah. at the park uh, meetups, and at, at all the events that we attend. Mm -hmm. So for me, when I, when I saw that, I just thought straight away, selfishly, we're not going to see them anymore. But we've, yeah, we've, see we've sorted that, mate, haven't we? I'd had, I was in the process of cancelling all of me. I had Van Love, Van yeah. Life. I had a few booked for this year. And look, all the companies, even though it was against policies, probably felt sorry for we yeah. were going to give all money back. But then we decided, bugger it, I want to get a 10. I'm not yeah. going to let scumbags defeat we. No. We no, mightn't no, have no, the no. van we had that we loved, but we'll still get out and enjoy with our friends. You know yeah. what I mean? So Come back into shop, mate. You keep nope. stepping on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So but, uh, we're, we're in a tiny little yard at the back uh, of the house. We're getting the women and folk are watching us and pointing. Yeah. I don't know what they're pointing at, but oh, no, it's nosy it, women. We've had a <laughs> we've had a good chat. We've had a good catch up. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's it's been a sad time. But let's yeah. let's take some positives from it. Yeah, and and try and educate or share. It your happened two weeks ago, and I was very upset about it. But now it's life's too short. So to get on the best you can with what you've two got. Two weeks tonight, wasn't it? Aye, two that's... weeks tonight. So just. You're not. You're never going to stop somebody who wants to do something deliberate, but you can you can take steps mm -hmm. to to minimise that. And and the one thing is your insurance. And mm -hmm. you know we're paying top money for stuff. I know I, myself. I pay about four hundred quid a year, and that includes all my um, agreed valuation and everything else. But that's a lot less than me. I was paying my mate this year was seven hundred. But uh, I had a couple of when I was taxiing days. I had a little bit of. My license is clear, bro. You know, you've got to declare for five years. Yeah. They're finished now. Yeah. But they were, like, on this policy, but no, my mind was about 700. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to the customers too much when I was driving, not realising how fast I was going. Yeah. But, uh, that's, that's, isn't that default setting on taxis? Mm. Going to and from I talk really too much, quickly. that's my problem. <laughs> I. But it's, it's done now. Yeah. But mine was a lot more than yours, mind you. But yeah. I stuck with the same company because I thought I was getting a... You know what I mean? Yeah, well... Like, and it's, it's, I, I can't blame the company because... If I had told them, like this, this today, the, the, the Amrock I'm buying, it's got big fancy big wheels on, it's got roll bar, yeah, it's got a bull bar at the front, and I've told them, and he says they wouldn't even up your insurance, them yeah. sort of modifications aren't, I think it's more down to yeah. like speed and yeah. things, power, yeah. so you've got to let them know anything you do, because yeah. even, though, even though they don't matter, they probably would matter in a, in a claim situation, yeah. you know what I mean, you've... Listening to seagulls there, I haven't realised. We're, we're from really... about two mile away from the coast and all, but... <laughs> so, where I live, we're three mile away from the coast, and this is constant for us. I keep forgetting you're on the other coast. Yeah. When you're so, we, we, today we've done a three hour journey from one side of the country to the other. Yeah. But, uh, no, it's been good catching Sunny up, Sunny South Shields. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hi, Andy. Good to see you, brother. Good. good to see you, mate. Not be long before we're away again, man. See you later. Thanks very much, guys. <laughs>